When you see your boy the Grizz, you know what it is, what it do, what it is. Today, I'm bringing y'all my top five games of 2022. Now, I will say, this is my top five. Not your top five or anybody else's top five. Your boy the Grizz's top five. And I don't want y'all to get all upset, all right? Don't give me that too much power. That, that, that much power for one man is just a little too dangerous. So without further ado, I bring you my top five games of the year of 2022. Coming in at number five, Bayonetta 3. Bayonetta 3 saw the, the, the resurgence of my girl, Cereza, in the third entry in the franchise. And man, I gotta say, I've loved every bit of every Bayonetta game. They're all very fun. And there's already a spinoff when you play as Cereza when she's a little girl. And you, you got, I gotta admit, I'm definitely gonna try it out. I'm really, really interested because I'm invested in this world. Bayonetta 3 was something different. I don't, I, I just can't understand how Platinum Games keeps making the, the action brawler button master style game. They just keep changing it up and making it different. And every Bayonetta feels different. And this one had a really, really different and interesting story. And man, this here is at number five. And I thought this was a really, really great game. And that's the same of something compared to the other games that's on this list. This game was still fire and it still holds up. So I definitely think if you haven't even played this yet and you have a Nintendo Switch and you like stuff like Devil May Cry, Neo Automata, or even a recent game that came out called Solstice, those types of games, well, this is definitely gonna be it for you. It's a Japanese game by Platinum, by Platinum Games, and who've made Astral Chain and, and other bad, you know, and Bayonetta games like that, Wonderful 101. They make games like this and they and they just keep perfecting it over and over. And if you like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, it was really, really interesting as well. So, man, just this is number five, man. Let's get it to the next one. I can't front. I knew it was going to be a tall order, but being a huge cat lover, having a cat of my, my own, and just always loving felines and anybody in the animal kingdom and any type of cat in the cat kingdom, I thought Stray was just going to be game of the year. That's until I played other games. So here it is at number four. And still, that doesn't put away the fact that this was an absolute shock of a game. I said, you know what? Maybe I'll give this a try. It'll be on PlayStation Plus. But then I actually, actually did fall in love. But to be honest with you, all the rumors that they say about Orange Cats must be true. Because you play as a cat that, you know, ends up as a stray and broke away from his family. So... This horror's cat got a little bit too explorative and got separated from his family. So you play as this cat trying to uh, get back to your family while amidst helping others who have their own issues. Because, you know, it's kind of you help me, I help you thing. And you got this robot that, that's in your backpack the whole game. And it talks, it talks for you and translates for you and helps push you through the game. And it's really, really interesting. The story was way more interesting than I thought it would be. This game was fun. It was no like action or anything like that. There was where you have to run, but you couldn't really do much. And then, of course, there was an activated meow button. So this being one of those adventure type games where you just do quests and stuff like that, it was only about 10 hours. This was one of the best 10 hour games that I've ever played in Stray. Man, if you haven't played it already, it's still on PlayStation Plus Extra. And it actually is out if you want to buy it and have it physically, which I actually will do because that's what happens for games that I love. Coming in at number three, WWE 2K22. Man, I'm telling you, even till this day, I am still playing this game. And it was because it was just such a relief to finally be able to have a very good WWE game. Okay, you got the showcase mode and then you got the My Rise mode, as you can see here in the video. I mostly played My Rise mode. I put 20, 30, 40 hours into this game and it is just, it's so awesome. It's so good for it to be good. This is the first one I played since maybe 2K18. That's why I said number 20. Uh, it's, that's why I said number three. This game is so fire. Please pick it up. This is the best one in a very, very long time. Now I'm pretty sure that I had y'all worrying. 
Alright, here we are at number two, and you ain't seen God of War until now. Here you go. Of course. And then you're still probably wondering, why is God of War number two? What could possibly be number one? Hold on. I'm not discrediting God of War. I thought God of War was great. I thought it was a 10 out of 10. In fact, my review was right here on the channel. I had no issues with the game. There was few bugs and everything, but that was nothing. This game was absolutely fantastic, and fantastic being my absolute, like, 5 out of 5 type rating. I love this game. I couldn't wait for this game. This was one of my most anticipated games. In fact, this year alone was for, I got a bunch of my number one, like a, 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 basically my top most anticipated games. This and uh, my number one game and Bayonetta 3. So God of War uh, Ragnarok at number two was, it, it's, it's absolutely fire and it's not discredited. Number one is just really, really personal for me. All right, coming in at number one, coming in for the game of the year from Gamers, Nerds, and Geeks United, Ali, Ali World, including all its DLC. Man, listen, if you've seen my review, you understand that I absolutely love this game and how much it resonates with me. The art style, the music, the clothing style. This game is straight up fly, and it's one of the best time killers, best, like, mood just like if you're in a bad mood and you just want to play a game to just help you out in the day or whatever just something down it's not too stressful but absolutely fun man this game man right here this is the game of the year without question for me personally like i said don't give me too much power but this game give it all the power i'm giving it its flowers as game of the year for 2022 Alright, y'all still here? You still with me? What do y'all think about that list? What do you think about this list of mine? Like I said, don't give your boy too much power. It's just one man's opinion and this was just my journey in 2022. What were your five games for the year in 2022? Let me know what you think about everything down in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when your boy is posting. I like to post every Wednesday and sometimes Monday, but then I also sprinkle some reviews and sometimes a discussion video or two inside there. Go ahead and make sure you hit that share, share, share button and tell everybody and their mama about this page. Thank y'all so much. Happy New Year. This video in this year of 2022 is finito.